Here today, of uh, three of my colleagues from the City Council, uh, Deputy Mayor Glenda Bearmaker, uh, Councillor and TTC Chair Josh Cole, and Councillor and member of the Toronto Police Services Board, uh, Chin Lee. And I'm delighted as well uh, that we have joining us uh, two representatives of our partner in this venture, uh, or maybe we're their partner, but the bottom line is that we're doing this together. And of course, Sue Wong, uh, MPP, and uh, the Honourable Tracy McCharles, uh, MPP and Minister, are here as well. And we're here to show people, to demonstrate to people that this partnership is moving forward uh, with real work being done on a project that's going to make a real difference to the lives of people. Uh, when I was elected three years ago, I campaigned on building something called Smart Track. Smart Track will give commuters one more option for getting around the city, and most importantly, because it uses largely existing rail lines, it will be up and running in a shorter time than for other higher order transit projects. Since taking office at the municipal level, we haven't wasted any time getting on with Smart Track. We've worked closely with the provincial government to ensure the commitment on their part, and I thank them for this, uh, of millions of dollars to electrify the GO lines, the backbone of the Smart Track plan and the GO Transit Regional Express Rail plan, and to ensuring that this line uh, coming from Stouffville down through uh, Scarborough and to downtown was among the priority lines for electrification. City Council then endorsed Smart Track and started staff on the necessary planning work, which is ongoing to this day. Over the last year, city staff have been working hard at studying Smart Track station locations and station designs. And city staff are now ready, and that's why today is an important day, city staff are now ready to take it to the public, to the local residents, and to the local businesses. And so over the next three days, the city will be hosting public consultations on Smart Track stations in the East End at the Scarborough Civic Centre tonight, in the West End and downtown in Riverdale. We want to hear from Torontonians. We want to hear exactly where the stations should be, how they should look, what's best for the neighbourhoods, including those compatibility issues that arise on things like safety and other considerations. I just spent the last hour speaking to residents and local businesses in Scarborough about the need for transit here in this neighbourhood. There is much enthusiasm for Smart Track, in particular for the Finch Kennedy station just around the corner. And I can tell you, uh, being very honest about the feedback that I got this morning, it was universally positive when people heard that they were going to be having a transit station that would allow them, as opposed to the commuting they do now, and they described it to me uh, in different ways, but it takes a long, long time, that they would now have the option of getting to and from either downtown or, for that matter, Markham, uh, by one train. They'll be able to get on inside the city and ride it either downtown or ride it uh, north uh, to Markham and of course to come the other way from downtown uh, to this part of the city. What I will tell you is that their awareness of the project, whether you called it GO, Regional Express Rail or Smart Track, was low. And that is because we haven't been able to see with our own eyes as we can in this example right here that the construction is actually happening. This is something that is very real and that you have two governments both very determined to make it happen and make it happen as soon as possible. Smart Track was developed from a simple fact. There are major rail corridors that run through this city of Toronto and that have run through the city of Toronto for decades. They are not being used to the greatest extent possible to help Toronto residents move around inside the boundaries of their own city. The train track you see beside us here runs from Markham through the east end of Toronto and into the heart of our busy city. It presently carries largely residents of Markham and Stouffville and, Union, and, and Unionville to Union Station quickly, conveniently and comfortably every day. And there's nothing whatsoever wrong with that. That's a good thing. But until now, it has not been considered a major or significant part of Toronto's commuter system or a way for Toronto residents to get to the downtown of their own city or for downtown residents. Increasing numbers of people want to live downtown and may have a job out here. In fact, I met some of them today. It's never been seen as a really an option for them to use that existing rail network to get around the city more efficiently. Smart Track will transform this corridor into an important part of Toronto's transit network. And of course, it forms an important part of the Scarborough network transit plan because I can tell you again this morning that I heard from people that were telling me as residents of Scarborough that they felt this part of town was underserved by transit and they're right. It is, and we have an entire network plan involving a subway extension to the Bloor Danforth line, Smart Track, and the Eglinton East LRT. Transit users in Scarborough will have access to Smart Track service at two completely new stations and four refurbished Go Transit stops. 
stations at Finch and Kennedy and Lawrence and Kennedy, in addition to existing stations at Milliken, Agent Court, Kennedy and Scarborough, will provide local service within the City of Toronto to the people of Toronto's East End neighbourhoods on our regional rail corridor. The people of Toronto want that choice. They want that convenience when it comes to their commute. They want to find better ways to commute and better ways to give them the option of leaving their car at home. Again, this morning, we talked to a substantial number of people who drive their cars because they don't really have a viable option to get around the city. And when they heard word of this project happening, and in some cases it was kind of almost the first they'd heard of it, it was something that uh, was music to their ears. SmartTrack takes the concept of local rail travel to a whole new level. And the people of Scarborough, as I said a moment ago, deserve more options than they presently have. A smart track station will allow them to get to Union Station in minutes or to get here from Union Station in minutes. It will provide an affordable option to residents of Scarborough and help improve social equity in our city. Smart track is about getting Toronto residents where they're going on the rail corridors that already run through our city, making better use of them alongside the expansion and service that is being provided for by the provincial government. And I commend them and thank them, Premier Kathleen Wynne, Transportation Minister Stephen Del Duca, uh, that they are our partners in this. We are their partners in making this work for everybody, but including, in particular in my case, people who live and work inside the City of Toronto, who will now, to a much greater extent, be able to use these rails to get where they're going inside the City of Toronto. No digging or tunnelling. It is not endless construction because it will be done faster. The work is being done and now on the double tracking right here and it will lead to new and improved service where it is needed the most in our city. And so again, I thank uh, all of my partners at City Council and at the province uh, for their partnership in this. I commend all the people who are doing the work uh, for the contractors and for Go Transit. The work is happening. I saw as I took a short walk up here, the sound uh, reduction uh, measures that are being put in place, they're half finished. The tracks soon to be moved to accommodate double tracks here to allow for the dramatically increased uh, service and of course the work on the stations really begins tonight uh, with the public hearings that are designed to seek public input before the actual construction occurs which will be in the not too distant future. I'm happy to answer your questions.